DJ Flame It Up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kiana and I'm here to tell you five winter tips that you should be doing with your natural hair. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. Don't forget to like this video when it's over and let's jump right into the video. Alright, so first let's address the elephant in the room. <laughs> my wig look cute, right? <laughs> Wet lace though, right? <laughs> But yes, this is my wig. I've been rocking out a wig for the last three weeks. So overdoing my hair right now. So yeah, I'm going to rock it out. See how long it will last. But this is my new baby. She's super cute. I will link down below where I got her. Anyway, so I'm going to tell you five tips that you should be doing with your natural hair over the winter months. Because it's cold. Your hair is drying out. You can't really go outside with wash and go. These are some things that you should avoid and these are some things that you should do. So the first thing that you should be doing is switching between your clarifying shampoo and your moisturizer shampoo. So what I mean by clarifying shampoo. A clarifying shampoo is a shampoo that says clarifying on it. Or it can be a shampoo that has sulfates in it. I know sulfates, uh, yeah, we're supposed to be scared of them, but I'm not scared of them because one, they are going to strip my hair of one, all of the oils, all the buildup, all the dirt, all of the moisture. I mean, yeah, I know. You're supposed to be maintaining moisture in the winter, but you want to reset your hair. So, yeah, we do need to strip our hair from the moisture and add new moisture back into your hair. So, yes, a clarifying shampoo is one that says clarifying on it, or it will be a shampoo that has sulfates in it. The shampoo that I like that may have some sulfates or silicones in it will definitely be my Suave Professional shampoo. It's under $5. It's affordable, one, and two, it works. And it's not that dry into your hair, guys. It's, it's really not. So I would definitely recommend that. But if you want to have something that says clarifying on it and more curly girl friendly, I would definitely recommend what is it, the Miche Beauty Moisturizing Shampoo. But in reality, it strips your hair, but it is quote unquote moisturizing, but it's curly girl friendly. Definitely look out for those. I'm pretty sure you have them in your stash. Don't run out and get them because I'm telling you about them. Look through your stash, read the products, and I'm pretty sure you already have them in your stash. But if not, I highly recommend getting the Swap Professionals Clarifying Shampoo. Now, if you want a moisturizer shampoo, I know it's moisturizing. It'll definitely be the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream Shampoo. And this shampoo is very moisturizing. So you want to switch. I wash my hair every week. I mean, besides protective styling. But I wash my hair every week. So one week I'll use clarifying. The other week I'll use moisturizing. So clarifying, moisturizing. If you don't want to be like me and wash your hair every week, don't do it. Okay? Don't, don't do it, girl. But I have the time. But if you don't, do it every two weeks and switch between the two. So that is for shampoos. So now you want to switch between your protein treatment, you want to switch between your moisturizing deep conditioner. So for example, this is my protein treatment deep conditioner from Mayo. This is the Mint Babasu Oil. And this, this is a protein treatment, but it's a moisturizer protein treatment. So for my hair, I don't need the hard protein like from Afro G, but I will use this because it has the right amount of protein and the right amount of moisture to put into my hair, but it's, it's a really good protein treatment. So definitely recommend it. But if you want something like a real hard protein treatment, then I will recommend getting the Afro G two-step protein treatment. But now if you want strictly moisture, no protein, I would highly recommend the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream. Or, of course, it will be my Mayo Organics Babasu Oil. You know, that's Bay. But these two, you have to switch between. So, again, if you're using the straight Afro G one, I would recommend you doing that at least once every month, once every six weeks, because it's a really harsh one. But if you want to switch between weekly or bi-weekly, I recommend you using this, because it will eventually equal up to the amount of protein that you need for your hair. And then every other week or every two weeks, whatever, you use your moisturizing deep conditioner. So it's very important because you want to make sure that the harsh wind does not break your hair. You don't want your hair to dry out. So both protein treatment and moisture, you want it to be at equal balance. You don't want, you don't want one more than the other. So trying to keep our hair healthy during these winter months and then on top of that you're wearing hats or you're wearing like the little head things that cover the ears because your natural hair can't really wear hats but those things rub against your hair and it also breaks off your hair so you want to make sure your hair is nice and strong for whatever you put on top of your hair so switch between protein treatments moisturizing protein treatments and a moisturizer deep conditioner so tip number three will definitely be 
use protective styling hello this is one your wigs is a protective style you you don't want to do your hair as much because one it is cold outside and you can't really walk outside with wet hair so if your hair is not dry you're gonna be late for work guys if your hair takes a long time to dry you do want to protect the style during the winter months so another protective style um chunky twists regular twists braids wigs cornrows like box braids like the whole nine yards that's protective style because one when you don't touch your hair your hair grows guys your hair grows a little bit faster when you don't touch it I don't know the science behind it but it happens so I have cornrows underneath this and then I have my wigs switch it out this is what week three usually I wash my hair every week so my head is like a little itchy right now so I'm gonna say you know what I'm gonna rock it out for one more week so it'll be four weeks of me not touching my hair so I'm gonna see some growth there and then I'm just gonna braid it right back if I want wigs on again most likely but we'll see I may have to get faux locks because I'm going away next month so we'll figure out what protective style I'm going to do but again low manipulation you don't want to be in your hair it's cold outside like wash and go season is cut unless you know you have a super duper blow dryer that's going to make sure your hair is super dry before you walk outside because i don't want you to get pneumonia guys so definitely this is the time for you to let your hands rest this is the time for your hair to grow to grow longer so you just want to like not do your hair and leave it alone get away guys trust me get awake okay get awake so tip number four is stay away from coconut oil I know coconut oil is like holy grail, but it's not my holy grail for my hair. It's really not. But for new naturals, coconut oil may be your holy grail. The reason why you should stay away from coconut oil is because coconut oil hardens when it's cold. So in order for you to use it, you got to warm it up in your hand so it will melt and you put it onto your hair. Now when you step outside and it's cold, that oil will harden. I don't know the correct term for it, but I know that it warms up. And then when you leave it alone in a cold space, it will harden back up. So you do not want that for your hair. And you have like white flakes all over. So stay away from coconut oil by all means for the winter time. And tip number five, if you are going to be wearing things on your head, at least get those silk lining hats. I have one. You're here or here, but it's a silk lining hat. So I know like sometimes when I am wearing my hair out in a twist out and it is pretty cold outside, I will throw that on because it has the silk lining inside. So my hair will stay moisturized and not really mess up at all. So definitely get you a silk lining hat if you do have face on your head to use it. I know some of our hair is like really, really big, but trust me, I will put my hair in big chunky twists and put my hat on and then go outside and when I get to my job, I'll un take those twists and shake it out and boom, I'm wearing a hat on my head because I do not want to get sick. But again, if you do want a hat, definitely recommend getting you the silk liner hat. Just added a picture, so yes, that's the one that I use on my head. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hopefully these tips help you out in the harsh winter months. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Kinks and Curves and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye. 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 Bye.